and yes, disappointed. So DJ, you got the next news piece. What do we got? What we got? Let's let's do it, and let's let's just change the mood. Yeah, I got a little. Get, I got a little. I got a little angry. Let's get happy, man. Let's get. Happy. This gonna, is geek reactions. Just, we're and and listen, you got a geeky reaction out of me on that one. I'll be honest <laughs> with you, but. Here's what we're going to talk about now. Disney confirms the rest of their 2021 slate of movies and um, when they will exclusively release in theaters. That includes Eternals and The Last Duel, most notably among those. OK, mm-hmm. um, now I've seen the trailers for Eternals. I've seen the trailers for The Last Duel. Mm-hmm. I got to be honest with you. The Last Duel. Super stoked about dude. Dude, okay, yeah, let's pause. For I know, a second. I, I know, we're not like gonna talk about this, but like, let's talk no, about actually, it for I a think, second. I think in the notes there it says, "What did we think of the last dual trailer?" So uh, let's just go to that. I'm just, I we got to talk about. Here's that. my opinion. This might be, you know, hot take. I, I'm not somebody that's like good at predicting this. I think the last duel has Oscar potential. I think it looks that phenomenal. I think the cast is that loaded. I think it's got that much talent. I think it looks that good. It's got Oscar potential, in my opinion. And I would love to see it because it's got your boy back here. It's got Adam Driver. Adam Driver. In the movie. So I cannot wait to see uh, The Last Duel. But anyway, what do you want to say about The Last Duel? <laughs> no, I just, listen, I, I I said this on our first episode of Geekverse Reactions. I'm a big fan of the Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. You're a big fan of Game of Thrones. Yes. And so this is this is one of those movies that's going to put both of those in like the perfect place 100%. for our our like geek hearts, if you will. Because I just the idea of people with swords and and chain ma- I'm getting super nerdy, but like <laughs> swords and chain mail and blacksmiths and all this other really cool middle, mid, mid, not middle earth, but medieval type stuff. I just sure. want to see something like that go down because swords are cool. Okay. I don't care what anybody says. Swords are cool. Yeah, All right. Are. Catch me watching forged in fire on history channel. <laughs> I don't care because this is one of those things that like, when I saw it was coming out, I went and watched the trailer. I was like, Whoa. Like I was actually like, I had to take a second cause I was a little bit blown away by it. Yeah. And for me, the last duel, I agree with you, ten thousand percent. This has Oscar potential for days. Yeah. Let's and go. beyond that, it's got people, it's got people in it who have either been nominated for Oscars, uh, Oscars, or have won Oscars. Mm-hmm. And that alone, to me, like, I can't, like, I want to, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I'm like Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands. Like, I don't. It's just one of those things. <laughs> That gets my blood pumping and my nerd heart racing, and it, it has my movie brain going nuts too. If I'm being honest, yeah. because I love movies like this. I yeah. mean, you got I could go down the list for hours about movies sure. like this, and I won't I won't do that because we still have to talk about um, Eternals. Unless there's <laughs> unless there's anything else you wanted to mention about the last. Duel. No, I was just gonna say that this movie deserves to be seen in theaters, and I'm glad that Disney is yes. sticking to uh, just exclusive releases at this point for the remainder of the year. Uh, and then uh, to finish this out, really all I was going to say uh, was with Eternals. Uh, I know I have voiced this before. Eternals, for me, I, I know. I get it. Spider-Man is a huge deal. Eternals is still my number one Marvel movie that I'm ec- uh, excited for. The most excited for Marvel movie uh, remaining Fair this enough. year. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Well, the Eternals looks it at least looks interesting. You know, I mean, you could very easily produce a movie that would be a flat out dud. Mm -hmm. And and let's face it, Marvel has created a couple of duds. Mm -hmm. I mean, with uh, Incredible Hulk, Thor, the Dark World. um, I am not of this opinion, but I know some people are Captain Marvel. Um, I don't I don't subscribe to that. I loved the 90s nostalgia when Mm -hmm. Nirvana started playing. My inner rock and roll heart was very happy um i love i like I like nirvana it's good stuff so you know things like that you know people have have had issues with and at least with eternals it doesn't look like a dud mm-hmm. um it at least looks really really freaking cool yeah um because i think we're bringing in some sci science fiction mythology mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. it's a little thor ish um more th- the first thor ish and and even a little bit of Ragnarok feel to it. So it, it's just got this awesome uh, feeling to it for me. Um, mm-hmm. And that's why I'm excited to see it and why I think it's at least interesting. 
Yeah, uh, well, speaking, time will certainly tell. Speaking wanted, of, yeah, um, sorry, speaking of Oscar talent, Chloe Zhao, the director, uh, that she's the director that just got Best Picture in this past year's Oscars. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. So, I mean, there you go. And from what I've heard, like Marvel is putting all all their chips into Eternals as far as winning awards. Wow. So who I knows? Didn't know that. We'll see. I'm excited nonetheless uh, to see you know these movies, rightfully so go into exclusively movie theaters. Okay, next up on the news piece, Will 